Hey friends, and welcome to my Sephora haul, part one. Yeah, I know, I said it. Listen, if you saw my recommendations video, y'all understand. All right, y'all understand. We're not going to talk about it. Um, I actually want to say, first and foremost, Sephora, kudos to you, not sponsored. This is the fastest I think I've ever gotten any of my flipping orders, especially during the VIB sale event like i was so excited so anyways we've got that we've got some new dossier perfumes to talk about but before we get into everything i do want to give a big shout out and thank you to my youtube members for helping to support the channel each and every single month to those of you clicking the thanks button and tipping and donating to the channel a huge thank you to you all i was talking about it in another video i don't know which one's going to go up first but if you happen to not see your um your your thanks doohickey i am working on it i was out of town all last week with the creators and friends event in louisiana it was so much fun especially for this queen of awkward uh whew, i really really had so much fun i had so much fun meeting so many other like-minded creators uh i'll probably be doing like a get ready with me or something i don't know um but anyways i will do my best to collect all of those and get those posted for you guys but i do want to say a big thank you and if you don't see your name that is is why but I am working on it and for those of you that are returning or new and decide to click that subscribe button or share this video over on Facebook thank you guys bunches I am back with the sniffles because Kentucky allergy season is something else let me just tell you my eyes they're red not because I'm partaking in extracurriculars no I was all fine in Louisiana I came home and it was like instant whoo and I'm like, really? So yeah, that's fun. So I wanna give a big shout out to Dossier for partnering with me in today's video. You guys know I have talked about Dossier forever. They literally have inspired by perfumes at a fraction of the cost. They also have inspired by colognes and unisex scents, as well as original scents too. So they sent over a few more for us to try out. And I love them, my mom loves them, my kids love them, you all know. I know y'all love them too. So a lot of their perfumes start at just $29, sometimes even less than that because the beauty of Dossier, the more you buy, the more you save. I love their ingredients. They're always very mindful of their ingredients. So the first one that I picked out is the Woody, um, this one. Because you guys know, whoo, hooked on phonics, not for her. But this is actually inspired by Chanel. Now, the beauty of Dossier is they always give you a little card. And the card always has the notes in here. Now, when you're on their website, you can literally go through. You could even take a quiz if you wanted to. And let them know, like, kind of what you're looking for. But on their website, you can literally go through. And it'll say like different perfume names, but underneath of it, it'll always let you know what it's inspired by. So like I said, this one is inspired by Chanel. I want to smell it because I actually don't have the Chanel. Oh, that smells good. That smells really good. It's like a nice clean, a nice clean scent. And let me just tell you guys, as you get 30 days, so if you get it and you spray it on you and it doesn't happen to mix with your oils, Oh, it mixes with mine, <laughs> but if it doesn't mix with your oils, you can just go ahead and return it and you can get a full refund. You're not stuck with it or anything like that. So that is the one thing that I absolutely love because what may smell great on me, I feel like may not smell great on you. So you never have to worry about being stuck with a product when it comes to them. The other items that I picked out, and I love that they are doing this. If you guys watched last month, I picked out the Discovery set, the large one. And it literally has a ton of the perfumes in there. But they're a really good travel size type of perfume. So this one I picked out, um, it's $30 for three cents. And this one came with Ambery Cherry, which is inspired by Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. I own a little tiny vial of that, and I can tell you it is spot flipping on. The Powdery Tobacco, which is inspired by Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanilla. And then we have the Powdery Coconut, which is also inspired by the Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc. And look at this. 
yeah you're gonna smell like a bougie mother trucking queen at a fraction of the cost which i love so you got these wonderful little travel size and what i really love is the fact that it's spray it's not a roll-on or anything like that so let's go with the powdery tobacco oh that's clean I like that that almost that reminds me of like a winter winter scent now another thing that I love to do is always layer my scent so I'm gonna go in with the ambery cherry which I really like and I feel like these two scents will mix well together yes that complements each other perfectly I, I the ambery cherry i love that so much so anyways when it comes to dossier like i said you don't have to worry about feeling like you're breaking the bank at all they have amazing perfumes for everyone and clones for everyone my son collection of the clones you know my my youngest comes into my beauty room always snags a bunch of them matter of fact today they went with their partner up to the eclipse and they both smelled absolutely delicious and of course it was courtesy of dossier so i will have a link down below to shop this year thank you once again to dossier for partnering with your girl in today's video definitely make sure to check them out and the more you buy the more you save and you will actually find some of the dossier perfumes and clones in unisex scents and at your local walmart so I think it's only at like 1,400 Walmarts, but yeah, you can definitely check them out over there. They make excellent gifts. And like I said, you don't have to worry about it because you get a 30 day return. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into my Sephora haul. Quick note, I thought about getting perfumes but I didn't because I had my dossier. <laughs> One thing I do wish, and I'm kind of on the fence, I do plan on placing another support order. I really wish dossier would come out with a Kaoli perfume inspired by scents because I love the the new one, the La Lunche, is that what it's called? And the Pistachio. So dossier, if you guys could hook a girl up, I would love that. So I was in the airport when I actually placed this order. I will have everything linked and listed down below. If I can make them affiliate links, I'm definitely gonna do that. So thank you guys in advance if you do shop any of my links, I appreciate it. So this is my absolute favoriteest cleansing balm. And I honestly, I thought that I took this out of my cart, but I didn't, and I love her. <laughs> this is the large side. This is gonna last me probably the entire year this is a clinic take the day off cleansing bomb it has a regular retail value of like 53 dollars, and of course i got 20 percent off of it listen if you guys didn't know there's different tiers i don't even know honestly if the it's like vib rouge started april 5th i'll like pop up a picture or something letting you guys know vib rouge i'm not bragging i'm not proud of the fact that i am vib rouge okay i'm not Anyways, moving on from that, 20% um, off. So fast math, that's like, say what, uh, five to 10, $10 and change off. So girl math, that was a really good deal. All right. Next in here, uh, I went with the Tatcha, the Dewy Skin Cream. I got the gratitude size. Let me just tell you, if you guys watch, actually, I'll try and remember to link my video down below for my recommendations. I told you guys I had tried the Silk one out. And I couldn't decide if I really liked it, but when I compared the Tatcha Silk one, the moisturizer, I ended up not repurchasing it and I ended up getting the SkinCeuticals Triple Lipid something. And I still missed my dewy cream. I have extremely dry skin. And I was even talking about like on this trip, it was like the second I got onto that mother truck and airplane, all little bit of hydration I had in my skin was literally sucked down to me and luckily I had a little travel size of the dewy the dewy skin cream a little travel size of it and I slathered my face on there and of course my skin didn't come back to normal until like the day I left but anyways I can't be without her she's hefty she's pricey but man she works so flippin good the bee's knees for me okay that the bee's knees right here can't be without. I'm so happy to have this back in my life. The deodorant that I will never be without. Don't please ever do not discontinue this necessary. I need this in my life all the time, full time. This stuff is amazing. This is the deodorant gel and eucalyptus. 
it's a roll on so i don't think I, honestly tell me i could be wrong i wasn't for sure i didn't know if i could get through tsa with this it is 1.7 ounces but i also had my like one carry-on bag full so i chucked it in my my checked luggage and thankfully way to go cbg and atlanta and new orleans airports because you didn't lose my bag now granted i took my akuta kitty sugar dumplings collar because she won't wear her air tag collar she just won't wear a collar right now so i chucked that into my suitcase so i was watching <laughs> my suitcase through the airport but yeah i cannot be without this deodorant i am telling you i don't have to reapply it over and over throughout the day it does not irritate my pits it does not discolorate discolorate discolor discolor my armpits it is just amazing it does have i yeah five percent aha in here so i think that probably has something to do like i am a nervous anxious person like hello your girl just went so far out of her mother trucking comfort zone going on this creators and friends trip that i was like i'm gonna be the stanky stanky girl because i am so anxiety ridden and everybody knows anxiety sweat makes it like yeah not with this so thank you necessary you saved my anxious bootay and i appreciate it oh i got a couple new things too okay so this one oh can i just tell you how fast the largest size sold out the tatcha the rice wash if you guys have like i said i have very much dry skin i used to say normal to dry and maybe i said that earlier in today's video she's lying this ronda right here that is talking to you eye to eye face to face my skin's dry okay i'm not gonna fit it is dry af this doesn't make it hydrated but it doesn't make it worse <laughs> you know how some some face washes make like leave you e -e 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 -e. yet this doesn't do that and it has a little just a tiny bit maybe of grit so i feel like it's doing like a nice little exfoliation i love this so much and i had originally the largest one in my cart because you know girl math you got that 20 percent off why would you not i'm gonna check tatcha's site though because i noticed like tart ended up uh starting a sale where you could, were getting like i don't know like 30 percent off or something so it was a better deal at tart but i'm hoping tatcha comes out with a sale during the time of this sephora sale because i'm gonna stock up on the largest one i love this stuff granted you only need a pea size and i probably won't run out of that this one for a long good time but i still can't be without it and it's 20 percent off you know all right so this was actually inspired by stephanie marie i actually got to meet her on the creators and friends trip and her and i got to talking about the glow recipe watermelon glow niacinamide hue drops so it was so cool because i was worried about accentuating my texture or any blotchiness and all of that and she broke it down for me and she said no 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 i highly 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 recommend this so thank you stephanie i went ahead and threw that right into my cart and picked this up so i am super excited to try these out and she was because i was kind of talking about the drunk elephant de bronzy drops and how i wasn't like over the top excited and she actually compared them in a video if i can find her video uh or remember i will link it down below for you guys definitely check it out because she compared for us the de bronzy drops up against the glow recipe drops she recommended these to me so i just said say less chucked it in the cart and now i've got two things of the de bronzy and she's like no just go ahead and put that in your foundation it'll work beautifully so that's what i'm going to do with that so anyways this she said is just beautiful on the skin and it gives a nice like hydration to the skin without any splotchiness or anything so i am super excited so excited about that so yay and then the last thing i picked up is something new and this is the ilia skin rewind complexion stick now i know what you're probably saying rhonda i thought you were getting the armani that's in my second order okay guys it's coming i'm not I'm, I'm not proud of it i'm just very curious about that crazy expensive foundation but then this one intrigued me because it how is it dented is it dented i mean it's dented but maybe it's supposed to be like that 
I mean, the box isn't bashed up, so I think it's just a little grippiness that we have here. But this is a weightless, firming, soothing, ceramide peptide complex plus a butterfly lavender and kelp extract. So it's like a skincare product in one. I picked out the shade 260 Limba. Could, could I have been completely off? Po probably. Prob pro probably? Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But I was intrigued by it because it said it was supposed to be good for dry skin i don't know we shall see that's the beauty of sephora is if it doesn't work they'll let you return it so i'm happy about that but i don't know it, you know like how ridiculous i'm still getting the giorgio Armani, but i didn't like the price tag i was seeing with all this stuff so i was like oh we'll just get this for now i'm making a second round purchase the numbers are still going to be the same, Rhonda, but it just seemed a little bit different not putting it all in one card. I know, I know. The, the girl math is not mathing. I, I get it. Anyways, that is my little Sephora haul. Actually, I don't feel like it was little. It was a good, it was a good haul. And I will be back with um, more for you guys. And let me know some recommendations that you guys are picking up. I saw a lot of you guys tell me the Giorgio Omarni Foundation is the bee's knees, that you love it. Here's my question for y'all. I also currently have in my cart the concealer. Should I get that? Because I love the Kosas concealer. I love my Tom Ford concealer. I love my Tarte concealer. Do I need the Giorgio Armani? If I do, I will chuck it. I will actually keep it in there. But I need to know. For those of you that are wearing the Armani foundation, I'm pulling up my cart right now. Do I need the, it's the luminous silk face and under eye concealer. That's what I have in there. I also have the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Pressed Powder. That just recently launched and so did the Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez, the Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blush. I've got that in my cart now too. Don't tell me I don't need it. Just, just do you have it and I don't need it? Or should I just get it? Let me know down below. The questions are just over the top, I know. Anyway, thank you once again to Dossie A for partnering with your girl in today's video. I will have a link down below. I highly recommend picking it out uh, over at Dossie A. If you want the Tom Ford perfumes, but you don't want the price tag, pick this set up. It's $30. You can layer it and smell like a delicious Tom Ford dream without the huge Tom Ford price tag. You are welcome. I will, I watch out for my friends. So anyways, y'all, I will have everything else linked and listed down below. Definitely. If you are curious about the glow recipe, Hue drops, check out Stephanie Marie's video because it was very, very informational and I am really excited to try these out. So anyways, friends, check me out on my other channels, Hot Miss Mama Vlogs for Curvy Girl Fashion Hauls over there, Hot Miss in the House, and of course, mine and Haley's podcast, Unconditional Hot Mess. And until next time, don't forget I'm also on TikTok and Instagram at Hot Miss Mama 4. I am freaking everywhere. All right, I love y'all. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And until next time, as always, kisses from Kentucky. Mwah! Bye!